Hello and welcome to Art Expeditions. I am so grateful that you are here. So we're going to start our welcome with this beautiful picture of the, the Duomo in Florence, which we'll be visiting very often in Florence uh, within our lectures and blogs on Art Expeditions. But I wanted to start by introducing myself and just giving you a feel and a, a foundation for what Art Expeditions is and the excitement that we're going to have in the world of art and art history. So uh, I'm Adele. This is a picture of me. Um, I took it at Split Rock Lighthouse in Minnesota on Lake Superior. And if you've never been, it's beautiful. I was up there hiking and getting inspiration for my own art as I am a, an artist. I sell my art on AdeleLassiterArt.com and I have a Facebook page for my art as well. Um, but yeah, I thought I'd share this just because who doesn't love that beautiful lighthouse and kind of give you, see the person behind the screen. Um, I'm your art guide on our expeditions. And I say expeditions because art history is kind of like Indiana Jones. You know, it's so much to learn. There's lots to discover. There's hidden clues, there's connections. So we're going to go on a journey through lots of different periods of art history, you know, from the ancient Egyptians to the Renaissance to Impressionism and beyond. And uh, kind of the reason I chose to do this is actually my mom and I uh, realized that there's a lot of art museums out there that people don't know about. Um, you know, for instance, we go to Roanoke, Virginia a lot to go to the Blue Ridge Parkway. I love to go hiking and, and everything up there, get some inspiration for my own painting. And I found out there was this amazing museum in Roanoke, the Taubman, um, and they had started advertising on Facebook for this exhibit, Titian to Monet. And I thought, hmm, interesting. I didn't even know they had this major art museum in Roanoke. I've driven through the downtown. I've seen the building, but I didn't realize it was that big of a museum. It got me thinking, there's so many awesome collections out there, especially at smaller museums that were either donated by a private collector or university that has this collection of Matisse's and Picasso's and why don't we have a central, my mom suggested this, we we're kind of talking about together in the car, a central website with as many art museums and a compendium of art museums. I thought that would be a really cool idea. And finally, I had time to do it because unfortunately I was laid off my job in tech sales, which I'm transitioning to a new job. But I said, I'm going to use this time and I'm going to research and I built out pages with all of the different art museums in the U.S., now, I'm still lacking a few, I'm sure, and I'm continuing to work on that. So don't be afraid to reach out to me um, via my website in the contact form to let me know. I'll add the website or gallery because there's so many out there. So that's kind of how this got started. Um, also, I have a teaching background. I've never taught in public school. I taught Sunday school and things like that. But I actually took a lot of classes to prep to become a teacher in, in history and I have a big, deep art history background. My major in college was actually audio video production and business, music business. Um, but I volunteered at the Frist in Nashville in college. And I've always been involved in art and art museums and art history. And I thought, you know, I really want to share that passion with other people and engage with other art lovers in a fun way. So that's why I started Art Expeditions. Now, what can you expect from this? We're going to have a lot of fun here. Art expeditions, art adventures in art. And our, bot, our, our kind of our tagline is travel the world through art. Because really, I don't know about you, but I love to travel. In addition to this, I also have a travel website, which we'll get to that at the end. But art history is so interesting. You can learn so many things. You can go to all these exciting cities without even leaving your desk. Because there's so many amazing collections that are digitally available online and you can kind of get the feeling of going to see the Van Gogh Museum in Amsterdam without even leaving your house. And obviously you would prefer to drive, I mean, to the airport and fly there, right? Depending on where you're located, which continent, but you know, this also helps get you prepared, you know, and get you excited for maybe some places you're interested to travel to. Like I just went to Italy and it was world changing, right? So I want to share that um, and share about history and travel through art too. How the format's going to be. 
artexpeditiontours.com. If you go there, I'm going to have blog posts regularly. Uh, we're going to have Medieval Mondays, where we kind of take a new, fresh look at the Renaissance, which is going to be really cool. So we're going to have Medieval Mondays, where we take a fresh look at the Medieval era, the years leading, you know, from the fall of the Roman Empire, the Western Roman Empire, all the way to the Renaissance. A lot of times people think medieval, it's so medieval, it's the Dark Ages, right? It's it gets a bad rap because, frankly, the medieval era has some of the most talented art, um, very interesting art. They didn't have linear perspective, but they had these amazing icons and um, buildings that they designed. I mean, they created the Romanesque and Gothic architecture, which so many churches are still following that today in buildings, right? Um, they had some of the greatest minds in history, like you think about Dante, Thomas, St. Thomas Aquinas, um, Peter Abelard, um, Charlemagne. I mean, there's so much to learn. So Medieval Mondays, we're going to take a fresh look at the medieval era. Wednesdays, it's all about the Renaissance. I love the Renaissance. It's probably my favorite period, but then again, I love all art, <laughs> all art history and periods. So, but it's just so much to learn from the Medicis and Florence and Michelangelo to Raphael to actually a lot of lesser known artists from the Renaissance and what was their impact and how oil painting was introduced from Van Eck kind of started using it in the Netherlands and um, all the way down to Italy and how it spread. We're going to go through that each week on Renaissance Wednesdays. Um, and then Fridays we're going to have Impressionist Friday. I love the Impressionist. Um, I mean, I, I don't know who doesn't because the paintings are so calming. As we look at this painting I have here of the Houses of Parliament by Monet, the colors, uh, you know, just the in, the way that they're able to capture light, space, it's so innovative and interesting. But it's also, each Impressionist is a little bit different, has a slightly different style. So we're going to go into that on Fridays, which is going to be really interesting. Once a week, I'm going to focus on a, a different art museum. Some will be kind of lesser known ones, maybe a university that has a really good collection or a small gallery to big, big ones like the Met in New York City or the Louvre, or we're going to do, um, I'm excited, we're going to be doing um, a series um, on the Uffizi in Florence. Um, so I'm also going to be doing these video courses and podcasts. I'm hoping to do a podcast a week, but I'll admit might be bi-weekly, depending on my job, my full-time job. Um, but I'm also going to be launching uh, art history classes. I found that's been very popular. A lot of people want to know more, and they but they don't have time to maybe attend a class, so they want to do it on demand, but still have a resource, an art history expert and team to kind of give them that insight. So what we're going to do is have some on-demand classes. Those will be paid classes, um, which will help support the site. Because honestly, I'm doing this as a labor of love. So I really appreciate you supporting the site and love of art history. And I'll keep them affordable. But those will be pretty comprehensive. Um, and you can do them at your own pace. And um, we'll have a really good group where you can kind of communicate with each other and ask me questions. And um, I always say, if I don't know the answer for something that comes up, because you can't know everything, I'll find it out for you because I have a lot of friends in the art world and we'll make sure you get the answer. So this point, I am anticipating our first course will launch by the middle of April and I'm going to have it be Masters of Venice. I thought about starting in Florence, the birthplace of the Renaissance, but I recently went to Venice and Venice has such a unique art history and it's, it's kind of something that you could just focus on Venice in its path because it is kind of self-contained in many ways but then it was so revolutionary in how it impacted the renaissance the later renaissance and then um up up until today really you know you have scenes of venice that monet painted that were influenced but then you have like titian from the golden era of venice and the renaissance so that's coming up keep posted via the blog and our Facebook page, which I'll talk about in a little bit. 
Also at my free resources, we're always going to be adding the, the list, hoping to get an international list of museums up there soon. I eventually want to have some free resources like for education, some interactive activities you can do with kids or on your own. Like I said, it's just me. I'm doing this as a labor of love. So it might take some time, but these are ideas I have and things I'm working towards and always open to suggestions. So we'll close this get to know each other um, with, I like this quote, creativity is intelligence having fun. Uh, so Albert Einstein, of course, great scientist, but also very artistic. And uh, I liked what he had to say because that's what it's about. We're gonna be learning, but we're gonna have a lot of fun we're going to be doing a lot of creative things together. Uh, so you can find us on Art Expedition Tours. No S there, just expeditiontours.com. And if you do a Facebook search for Art Expedition Tours, you'll find us. Go ahead and like the page. I'm sharing um, the blog post, any updates there. I'm also trying to, if I like see a, a painting, I went to a museum and I was like, oh, this is an awesome painting. I'll share a little fact about it or something. So it's going to be a great opportunity um, just to connect and, and to stay abreast of art in an easy way. I will, I will, before signing off, mention too, another quick plug. If you like to travel, which I'm guessing you do if you like art, <laughs> um, I do also run American Nomad Traveler, which I've been doing a couple of years. We've visited a lot of museums on there. Uh, we have something called Museum Explorer, which I'll, I'll also kind of bring into um, the Art Expeditions uh, Facebook page. Um, so you won't miss anything if, you, if you're not following both. But might be fun for you to check out. We're visiting Italy uh, this spring, um, doing uh, blogs about Italy and history and art. So I appreciate your time. Once again, I'm Adele, and we'll talk soon.